Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Saturday, November 9th of 2019. I always find the second chapter of Acts an interesting study. Most of us, when this chapter is mentioned, immediately think of the rushing mighty wind or the cloven tongues of fire uh, that descended upon the people in the upper room. But I believe there is something much, much deeper to this chapter. Over the years of studying this section of scriptures, I've discovered that this chapter is really disclosing the Lord's example of what the church should be. There are carefully planted guidelines throughout this chapter that will make the church healthy and thriving. So today, this morning's prayer examines the vital signs of a healthy church. Father, when reading Acts chapter 2, so many of us focus upon that mighty rushing wind and the cloven tongues of fire. But these things really are just secondary or fruit of what you are really trying to show us. Give us the discernment and understanding of your carefully planted instructions throughout this chapter so that we will make the church healthy and thriving and an influence in today's world. Since the church is truly defined as people and not buildings, these things identified that make the church healthy are actually defining the very things that will make us, the people, healthy. A healthy church, Father, loves one another and is united. How do unbelievers see us, Father? Is there enough of a difference to attract them to you? Or do they see no difference between the way we live our lives and the way they live their lives? Father, a healthy church prays and intercedes for others. A healthy vine is always connected to the branch. Father, prayer is our lifeline to you. When we diligently seek you, you are faithful and just to answer us. A healthy church is spirit-filled and spirit-led. The power that you give is activated within us when we are baptized in the Holy Spirit, Father. Those who are led by the, your Spirit are the children of God. A healthy church wins souls. Father, the reason we're here on the earth is to be salt and light to a dying world. Freely have we received from you, so your word says that we need to freely give. A healthy church makes disciples. Father, you have commanded us in Matthew 28 to go therefore and make disciples. Help us to fulfill our role as kings and priests for your kingdom, to spread your word and your glory. Father, a healthy church fears the Lord. May we always come into your presence with reverence, for this is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of you is understanding. Oh, a healthy church, Father, experiences signs, wonders, and miracles. Father, your word says that signs, wonders, and miracles follow those who believe, and that signs, wonders, and miracles are assigned to the unbeliever. Father, let there be something that captures their attention and draws them to you. A healthy church gives of its resources. You have called us to steward your things. Father, can we ever outgive you? A healthy church also worships you, Father, because worship is a lifestyle that we walk out daily, and it pleases you when we do this in spirit and truth. And finally, Father, a healthy church has favor with you and with man. When we are faithful to you, Father, all things are possible. Others see this favor in us and want to know more about it. This is how numbers were added to the church daily and still can be added daily to the church even today. Father, help us to be strong. Help us to be courageous and not fear. Father, help us to do those things so that your gospel, your kingdom is advanced. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer. And as always, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.